thank you for uh, visiting my channel so today I would like to explain and give you the idea about how to uh, give this this kind of uh, certificate and then after uh, students download their certificate and they can uh, view their certificate and this certificate also is only available if the students achieve a certain certain criteria or certain certain standards um, which being set by their teacher so today we are going to learn about that so before we go uh, further i just want to give you some idea this is a dummy account for my students uh, account i got also a dummy account for the uh, teacher's account and then um, this video is not covered the uh, plug-in section so if you want to learn about the plug-in of this uh, view certificates or the custom certificate settings you can uh, refer to the um, link down there to learn more in the, in, in the Moodle forum or you can observe my future video insyaAllah Selamat datang ke channel saya Kerja Datang Online Please consider to subscribe, like and share all our videos We provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge Nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir Pembelajaran secara penting To all of you ladies and gentlemen So today I would like to explain about a model certificate customization option So that you can generate a certificate for your students After they complete a certain assessment or assignment So to start with let us log in into the uh, teacher account uh, So if you are if you are handling uh, system like myself you probably want to install it first in your plugin um, to learn about that um, we are going to explain that one later on okay so we go to the site home and then we can observe into the SPSS biology so this is my class um, for example and then I got one participant this is a dummy account just to give you some example about how to uh, create an assessment and also produce a certificate Alright, so as you know, uh, the first of all, we need to create some sort of activities first so that the student can interact with the lecturer. So I'm going to add this one as a test one. And then I'm going to give some sort of uh, question and so on. And the students uh, needed to be um, enter some sort of answer. So this is already done. And then I'm going to specify the grade on the setup menu uh, to make sure that the student understand that the total marks is depends on the solely um, assessment this is just an example okay all right and then the next one the most important thing that we want to learn is actually add an activity or resources for the custom certificate so if your model uh, setting did not have this custom certificate you can refer to another videos that i already created to install this plugin to make sure that the custom certificate is available over there then you can go to the end and then you can create a certificate this certificate for example is only being given for the student if they already fulfill this criteria for example and activities or resources you can go to the custom certificate and then after that you can put here as sigil sigil in malay we call it as a sigil um, and it's it's meant by certificate in english okay so the total score of the assignment or anything or with regard to this course it's actually 70% for example and then we can go here uh, to edit our certificates okay so let us begin with uh, so the first one background image I'm going to change this one as 297 with two ta with uh, view of 210 going to save change for example and then go to the add element and please select this course image okay and save and then you can uh, save changes and preview so it's available over here then you can go to this uh, another one so to make it uh, available you can just click back to this edit certificate and then go to the um, student names go to the add element and increase the font size change the color of the font and please arrange accordingly your student name should be um, down the background image backgrounds and then on the top of the background is the student's name then you can save change then you can go to the reposition element to adjust accordingly so that the name will be appear here nicely in the center of the template for example and then save and close 
and you can save change and preview and this kind of output will be produced in your students um, downloaded section after this so actually you can put another um, another element that you want for example date time and so on so that is the idea um, useful for your student so you can go to the um, SPSS bio here for example and then it's already done it's it's ready it's ready for the students to um, to download it um, if they got a certain um, criteria then they will got this certificate all right so let us begin to dummy up a student's account so let's say I'm a student so I'm going to log into my account then I would like to answer my lecturer um, assi assignments and therefore I'm going to go to my course here and I'm going to give the answer then I put some sort of submission let's say try to submit okay then I'm going to save it save the changes and it's ready to be marked or it's ready to be uh, to be assigned and also being scored by your uh, lecturer okay so let us go to the teachers account so in the teachers account for example the, the teacher is already um, gathered this information from the students and they can make some grading uh, they can make a quick grading or they can make a, a simple grading one by one okay so the teacher can observe here let's say we just make a quick grading here um, after a quick gra a grading review it's indicate that the student failed to get more than 70 let's say they got 69 so what will happen actually when the student log in so i'm going to go back to my uh, student account what will happen um supposedly the student did not able to download their certificate because it is not uh, completed because the score is less than what we set, less than what the teacher set. Uh, therefore, the teacher uh, or the students need to do some sort of resubmission. Okay. The example: If the uh, if the teacher is satisfied with their student's assignment, for example, then the students, uh, then the, the teacher can give uh, appropriate marks to make sure that the student able to get their. Um, certificate in this case I'm just going to put it as 70 at the minimum par so if we log out and then go back to our students uh, account all right so the student account should give the permission to the students to download those certificates see the certificates are able to be downloaded so the students can click here certificate and they can view their certificate then the, the, their certificate is actually been produced already uh, this is their name SPSS biology students and their name okay so that is the idea about this certification and sometimes um, your certificate probably can be manipulated by your students but don't worry yeah teacher I just want to explain to you because every certificate here is already being validated with the verification code okay so I, I give you one example okay so if the students already generate their certificate then the teacher can observe who um, which students already validate their certificate and um, they also can have this kind of code okay so um, if the student can produce their own certificate we can actually look into these databases if their name is not here actually the student did not really take the certificate from our um, from our system they are just editing it um, elsewhere in the Photoshop and so on so we can verify the certificate here so if we verify the certificate we know already that this student is already um, passed and this student is already legit to get this certificate so that is the idea um, how you want to create this certificate um, function uh, for your activities in your model so i hope that this uh, video very helpful and useful uh, to all of you um, as the lecturer or any user of the model so if you are administrator you can find out another courses and another videos that i'm already produced explaining about how you can install this plugin and use it um, as i mentioned to you just now okay with that thank you very much see you again if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe like and share all those video and you, if you got any question problems and what you want to discuss please do please do so in the comment section 
थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम एंड बाय